I am Maria Garcia de Fleury. On March 15, Saint Louis de Marillac is celebrated as a French woman who was born on August 12, 1591 in Paris, France. She belonged to a noble family, the Marillacs. She was small in stature, thin, with good health, and stood out for her intelligence. Although she wanted to be a nun, she was forced to marry Antonio Legras, first secretary of the Queen Mother, Maria de Medici. At the age of 34, she was widowed with only one son who was already 15 years old. At that time, the peasant world suffered great misery and taxes ruined them. The sick in the countryside died without medical attention because hospitals were only in the cities. There were few towns in which they were, there were schools. The common thing was itinerant teachers who for little money taught the children of peasants. As mixed schools were prohibited, only boys went to school. The girls were left taking care of their little brothers and doing housework. At that time, Father Vincent de Paul had founded an association of ladies known today as Volunteers of Charity and a congregation of priests called Poles, Vicentinians. Father Vincent de Paul encouraged Luisa de Marillac to join his project to restore the pure human dignity and rights modernize institutions to make them more effective and create new ones for new needs. This excited Luisa so much that, although the ideas were of Father Vincent, she was the executor. Luisa organized an association of women who were called the Daughters of Charity. They were consecrated nuns without cloister, but who, in the words of Father Vincent, have as a monastery the houses of the sick, as a cell a rented room, as a chapel the parish church, as a cloister the streets of the city. Luisa de Marillac dedicated herself totally to the mission of making these young women experience that serving the poor was the same as serving Christ, because the poor and Christ were the same reality. They began caring for the sick poor in their homes and then began to organize hospitals. Luisa insisted that the Daughters of Charity, in addition to health technique, cleanliness and spiritual formation, put human warmth based on humanity, humility, simplicity and love that Saint Father Vincent had given them as their own spirit and that she translated into tolerance, meekness and cordiality. With the financial contribution of the Ladies of Charity, Luisa managed to organize the schools for poor, poor girls that Father Vincent had founded. Luisa, always cheerful, she directed the work of abandoned children and saved them during the civil war of the Fond. She organized the first nursing homes and with worship so that they felt useful. She welcomed immigrants who arrived in Paris fleeing wars, especially homeless girls. Surrounded by many of her spiritual daughters, she died on March 15, 1660, at 69 years of age, having dedicated her life to God and others, convinced that with God we always win.